what are the conditions under which it's okay to take a life when we have been told never to take a life. And interestingly enough, as in the zombie apocalypse, often those conditions involve protecting the innocent and preserving life. The hard thing about all of these decisions, though, is that there's a moral cost that comes with them. One of the books on uh, the uh, rush to war in Iraq called The Dark Side, written by an American journalist, the author interviewed a CIA operative who had been involved with uh, what we would now describe as very aggressive interrogation. And this CIA interrogator said, once you have done something like that, once you have gone to the dark side, and this interrogator used the words the dark side, you can't come back from it. You're not the same person. And if you're a person who watches The Walking Dead, for example, you've seen the way that the character of Rick has changed season by season by season, into somebody who now is much more pragmatic about the use of violence. And of course we could say he keeps his people alive, and indeed he does. But if we're asking ethical questions, we also have to ask this question that the zombie apocalypse helps us ask so well. What is the human cost of that? What is the soul cost of that? And what are the circumstances under which it's no longer worthwhile to go on living? And that's why I love the zombie apocalypse stories, because they let us ask all of these questions that are so pertinent to our lives now.